After a person becomes a Christian, one of the things that they can use as an example of proof that God is real is answered prayers. Now the atheist will say, well, if you pray about something and that particular thing just happens to happen, that's not proof of God, that's, that's just coincidence. There is a such thing as coincidence, obviously, because we have a word, coincidence. But when you have a coincidence, when you have answered prayer happen again and again and again and again and again, outside the normal threshold for coincidence, when it happens again and again and in great detail, like what you're praying about, that's no longer coincidence. That's the hand of God. That's proof someone else outside of yourself is acting upon you. And that's a proof of Christianity and of God. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 10, 9 to 10 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So if you want, you can pray and, you know, if God's leading you to pray, and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.